Paul, thank you again for taking the time to talk to us for a, a couple of minutes. Uh, we had a couple of questions regarding your, your talk. It was very intriguing to hear you talk about PR and, and, and what it's doing. Um, let me ask you first, um, after reading your, your, uh, your documents and columns and everything for many years, um, where do you see the, the convergence between all the communications practice in this brave new world of the social media and uh, and how that is changing uh, the, the way we perceive communications and advertising as such? Um, so what we are seeing is two separate trends. Inside corporations, we are seeing marketing and communications overlapping much more than they did five years ago. I think today, if you want to be a modern CMO, you have to understand corporate social responsibility, employee communications, crisis management, public affairs, all things that have historically been part of the corporate communications uh, practice. And so marketing and, and corp comms are coming together inside organizations. And then separate from that, outside of organizations, there is a blurring of the lines between advertising, PR, digital. Um, I think ad agencies are beginning to realize that the product that they have historically sold may not be as valuable as it once was, and so they're getting into PR. Um, I think PR people are beginning to realize that they can use paid media to amplify their message um, that there's nothing in the definition of PR that says it has to be free or earned, um, and so they can think more broadly. Um, at the same time, not to give you a long <laughs> rambling answer to a short pointed question, um, we're seeing management consultants start to look at what I would consider to be the high end of public relations, uh, change management, financial communications, um, brand building, and offer of a data-driven approach to those disciplines. And I think the challenge for people who come from a PR background is um, really to emphasize what it is that makes us special and different. Because I think that the things that are at the core of a public relations thinking, that are at the core of a public relations approach, I talked about some of them during the presentation, integrity, credibility, authenticity, trust, True. engagement, dialogue, things that are endemic to good PR are the things that ultimately will be most valuable in this new era of convergence. And we ought to be the people who bring those to the table with conviction. And we ought to emphasize that data is important, that human intelligence is more important, that at the end of the day, this isn't about numbers, this is about people and relationship, and that directed. If you were to give counsel to, uh, to today's agencies or practitioners, whether they should focus on brains or brawn in the organization to really uh, have a better grasp of this change, uh, how, would you, how would you look at it from a strategic point of view? Would you recommend that, that an agency just change into digital or, or, or hire digital savvy people that could perhaps bring a difference into the practice? Or perhaps the other end would be to uh, refound the company and, and actually think differently from, from the ground up into a more brain type of activity? Okay. Um, so I have, I think, my perspective on digital is that digital agencies are what I would call a transitional life form, um, and they are coming to the end of their usefulness. So I think any time a client comes to you and says, we want a digital campaign, you should immediately tell them that's not a smart approach. Um, I would be a little ruder, but I'm not running an agency. <laughs> Because I, the, question, the question is, you know, nobody comes and says, I want a television PR campaign or I want a, a print PR campaign. Uh, you shouldn't define the campaign by the channel that you're going to use. You should define the campaign by the audience you want to reach. So if you say, I want to reach boys between the age of 18 and 25, then the answer to that is, yes, some of it should be digital, but some of it should be print, maybe some of it should be events. Um, you should use the most appropriate mix of channels. 
And I think what that means is that PR agencies have to learn digital to stay relevant, but digital agencies have to learn everything else to be relevant. Digital agencies will have to learn print and television and events and everything else that we do. Um, and that's, that, to me, is where the future is on this. So the challenge for PI is to integrate digital thinking, but not necessarily to turn itself, turn an agency upside down and be digital-centric. I, again, I think it is one channel, very important channel, uh, but it's one channel among many that we have to understand. And your question about talent, I think, is much more interesting, because I think that PR agencies need to bring in, I, I, my, I've said at speeches in the past that I think about a, at least a third of the people working in public relations today are not fit for purpose, that we need to start cutting dead wood away and replacing it with people who are smarter about things that we don't necessarily know, data and analytics, content creation, measurement and evaluation, all of those things, um, you know, the ability to create infographics and um, iPhone videos that you can put on YouTube five minutes after you made them, real-time marketing, all of these things are skills that we need to bring into the profession. Cognitive science, neuroscience, sociology, psychology, philosophy, people who come from a diverse set of backgrounds who have a different understanding about how to communicate than, than former journalists or people who spent a lifetime in PR. Upskilling and reskilling agencies is a huge. Very good. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank Appreciate you. the time. Uh, it was great. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.